And Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the person that inspired me the most, for sure, is he was my, my father. My family doesn't come from money. My, my father, to put me in racing, he was doing a sacrifice. And I, not, just, not just for him, but for my entire family. It is hard to, obviously, to, to find time to, to see my, my father and my family, because I had to to have all my focus on, on racing. Hi. If they were here in the US, in Charlotte, maybe it would be a little bit easier, but obviously they are in a different country. Sometimes in the off week, I can, I can have time to go to Mexico and, and spend some time with, uh, with my father and my family. ¿Qué dices? ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? Tú? Pues nada, me trajeron a esta gente. <risa> ¿Cuándo llegaste? Anoche. ¿Y eso? Pues aquí estoy en sorpresa. <risa> well, first of all, I'm very excited to, to have my father here. It's been a while since he was here in the house. He's been everything in my racing career. My father actually bought me a go car. In that point is when I actually realized that I wanted to, to race. So we went together into the Gokar war. Cada vez que yo veía a, al niño subirse de Gokar, se enfocado. Daniel ganó seis o siete carreras seguidas. Entonces fue realmente cuando yo decidí a, a seguir empujando eh, el, el proyecto. When I was racing, you know, there, there was some money spending there that already wasn't somewhere else. Before I was born, my father had this car restoration shop. He sold that shop to, to continue to support my career. Later on, my father mortgaged my family's house. My mom wasn't very happy about it, but they just wanted me to have that opportunity. Bueno, fíjate que creo que como padre no, no dudas de sus hijos, ¿no? Este... La diferencia de aquí es que a mí me apasionaba lo que él hacía y yo sabía que él, él lo quería. Definitivamente sabía yo en lo personal que iba a haber un momento que iba a llegar, pero no sabíamos cuándo ni cómo. ¡Cuidado! ¡Sí, señor! ¡Fabuloso! ¡Daniel Suárez se lleva la competencia en un final de... Luckily, things started to work out. We made it to, to the top series in NASCAR, Mexico, and then he told me, hey, Daniel, now you're in the top series in Mexico and you are just 18 years old. What is next? A few years later, a good shot with Jogi Racing. Suárez va a ser campeón. Suárez, Suárez, Daniel Suárez, campeón. When I was able to, to win the championship back in 2016, I was extremely excited. And he was excited as well. But after a few days, he told me, hey, doesn't matter what, it's always something else. Trying to find the next challenge. And really the next challenge was the Cup Series. When things started to go well in, in my career, I was able to go back to my dad and say, hey, you know what, I really want to, to put the, the shop that you sold uh, back together. A few years ago, we started a brand new restoration shop with, with the same name. And, and that for me, that's, that w w is one of the coolest things I ever done, just to, to give him back what he gave up for me. My father has had a lot of different cars through the years. 99% of them, he has had to sell them for different reasons. 30 years ago, he bought a, a bus in, in, in Texas. He drove that bus from, from Texas to Mexico with my mother, and my mother was pregnant on myself. Eventually, he had to sell the bus. Luckily, the same person that he sold the bus to kept it for all this time. I went to the guy, and man, one week after, we, we bought it. Now he's back in the family. It was, it, it was just something that I had to do. 
feel like that has been something that I have learned from him, how hard he pushed to get things done and to just to make things happen. <laughs> Me siento, siento muy orgulloso. No mames. Realmente me puedo morir mañana y me muero con la sonrisa porque creo que ya terminé mi, mi trabajo aquí en este mundo. You need to have that person on your side to help you. And luckily I have a father like him. Without him I, I wouldn't be here right now.